Hi guys, Josh with Online ADA here once again, and today we're covering Article 1.4.1, The Use of Color. This is a Level A requirement. Let's jump right into the description. Color is not used as the only visual means of conveying information, indicating an action, prompting a response, or distinguishing a visual element. There's a note to this one. This success criterion addresses color perception specifically. Other forms of perception are covered in Guideline 1.3, including programmatic access to color and other visual presentation coding. Now, there is always going to be some overlap between the articles of the WCAG Accessibility Guidelines. And this one was a very niche use case. They're trying to specifically help out folks who have um, colorblind disabilities. And this overlaps with um, the sensory characteristics article that we also covered in a previous video. Um, the big takeaway here is that you don't want to use just color to indicate uh, information or to convey information. A really good example of this is using a bar chart uh, to convey information that might be complex or simple, it doesn't really matter, but you have these different bars that have different levels and they're typically only coded with different colors. But in this article, it's saying that it's important to use something like a pattern as well as the color because someone who's colorblind may not be able to distinguish the difference between uh, these bars. And it's also a good idea to use something like a legend in all of your tables to properly associate the pattern and the color with the information in the, or in the bar chart. Um, another use case for this is going to be something like a progress bar where maybe you have a color, a green bar that's going across, and then you have the different steps lined up. And rather than just using green bar, the green bar to go across, you would also have something like a dashed arrow, like a black arrow or something in there that's conveying the same information, um, but not just using color. That's going to go a long ways towards providing the same information to users who can't distinguish that color. Um, this would probably be more effective if you had green and red, like two colors that mean different things in the same circumstance. So maybe a green bar indicating progress, red meaning you haven't gotten there yet, or black or something. Um, the arrow is doubly effective in that case because now you can see exactly what the progress is as opposed to wondering which one is which. So, um, as always, when you are using color to convey information, it's always a good idea to use text cues whenever you can, especially if you have a button. Um, you need to have some sort of text label for it, uh, whether it's a green button for submit or a red for cancel. Um, they need to have the relevant text cues as well. And especially something like a progress bar or a bar chart, it should also be described in text. That's also covered in this article. Um, ensuring that information conveyed by color differences is also available in text. And that's the Understanding 1.4.1, Article G14. Um, there's lots of good information in the WCAG Quick Reference Guide. It outlines all sorts of uh, examples of where code is not meeting compliance and a lot of good examples of different use cases for these articles as well. So there's lots of good information there. I encourage you to check it out. It's the W3C uh, WCAG Guideline Quick Ref. Thanks for joining me in this article, and I will see you in the next one.